Hello, hello. Good evening, am I audible? Yes. Good evening, good evening everyone. Am I audible? Material inga? Let's take it Yes, fine, Ritika. Thank you. Chanchal, test will be in my app, my dear. I'll talk to you later about it. Yes. Thank you, Infinite Law. It's fine now. Yes, Ritika. Yes, okay. Let us start today's session. Sets, relations and the functions. One of the finest and the easiest topic from mathematics. There are few things you need to remember before we start this uh, chapter. Let me just introduce what exactly the topic is all about. First, actually there are three different topics, let us understand, but everything is interconnected. When you know sets, from sets relations will be formed, from relations functions we are going to do. Manish is saying, sir, math ka kuch nahi kiya hai, kaisa kar sakta hai, want to statist, strategic, okay. Manish, on 4th November, we have session, how to approach maths. Please attend that session. Fine. So, sets, relations and functions. Weightage of this topic, 4 to 5 marks. Okay, 4 to 5 marks, weightage of this topic. So, let us not take this topic very lightly, but it's a very, very simple topic. As far as preparation is concerned, of course, my dear, it's a very simple topic. Do not ignore this. First, what is mean by set? Set is nothing but collection of well-defined object. <coughs> okay, collection of well-defined objects. 
what is meant by collection of well defined objects if i say natural numbers tell me what are natural numbers my dear yes very good what is natural number please can you comment what is natural number my dear what is natural number yes loudly my dear what is natural number what are natural numbers yes 1 2 3 dot 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 up to infinity very good is that right so if i ask this question everyone is giving me the same answer okay none of them are given what you know sir 1 5 7 9 something like that no everyone is giving me 1 2 3 dot 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 up to infinity is that clear my dear so this is called well defined objects okay this is called well defined objects for example if i say colors in rainbow is colors in rainbow is well defined object my dear is colors in rainbow is well defined object my dear is colors in rainbow is well defined object my dear is colors in rainbow is well defined yes what are colors in rainbow what are colors in rainbow yes ramanujam ragul yes yes very good what are colors in rainbow can you please tell me my dear put in the comment colors in rainbow Daniel says seven colors. Okay, what are the colors in rainbow? I asked my dear. Yes, whip gear. Very good. What is my whip gear? Violet, indigo, yellow, 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 dirty yellow. Okay, blue, green. orange red is it clear my dear these are colors in rainbow if i ask colors in rainbow none of them said sir black color okay and pink color and all these colors and all you do not say you just everyone said seven colors everyone said seven colors so can i say colors in rainbow is well defined my dear so these type of well defined objects if i put it in this brace bracket or curly bracket we call this is as sets in sets repetitions are not allowed for example you cannot write two times violet only once you have to write okay indigo you cannot write it for two times or three times more than one time you cannot write more than one time you cannot write so this is what very important first basic information about sets now what are the ways of writing sets okay how many ways of writing sets look at this there are two ways of writing sets one is listing method other one is set builder method <coughs> one is what listing method other one is set builder method fine what is listing method for example i am writing now all the colors whip gear this is what listing method okay writing all the elements in this format we call it as listing method then what is set builder method actually one of the best method is set builder method but none of them are liking that method but the best way of denoting set is set builder method please try to understand what is set builder method my dear just open the bracket take any variable x such that the slash stands for such that some people put it as colon anything can be used either slash or colon after such that we need to define what is x tell me what is x x is color in rainbow what is it my dear x is color in rainbow my dear it is in singular form don't write it as colors in rainbow it is color in rainbow because x we are denoting and other colors and all everything will get added so this is what we call it as set builder method is it clear my dear this is what we call it as set builder method for example can you convert this set builder method x such that x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 can you please convert can you please convert this in terms of listing method my dear this is in set builder method 
I want you to convert this into listing method. Can you please convert this into listing method? Give me listing method. What will come, my dear listing method? X such that x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Listing method. Fast, fast, make it fast. None of them have given the answer. Very good, Rajal. Yes, Vaishnavi, very good. Ramanujam, right. Yes, excellent. Yes, Muskan. See, actually what we are supposed to do, case on wrong. Ritika, wrong. Check it. Uh, Ritika, right. Rupesh, wrong. Pius, right. That means what, sir? It's a quadratic equation. You please solve it, sir. When we solve it, we get what? 2, comma 3. So that is what we need to write it in listing method. Is it clear all of you? This is what we call it as listing method. Now, in this chapter, what and all to be remembered? First one is types of sets. Okay. First one is what? Types of sets. What are the types? That is first we need to learn. First, let us talk about finite set. Second one is infinite set. What is mean by finite set? Finite set is nothing but set which is the elements in the set is countable. We call it as finite set. The set which are countable we call it as what? Finite set. That is what we call it as finite set. What is mean by infinite test of infinite sets? Not countable. We won't be able to count. Okay. We cannot count. So that is what infinite sets. What is mean by it my dear? Infinite sets. For example, the meaning of finite set is Natural number less than 10. Is it countable, my dear? Of course, natural number less than 10 is countable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Natural number less than 10 is countable. Farhan, leave it to me. If you complete, if you attend this full lecture and you please uh, attend the full lecture, some concept you may not be able to understand, but you need to have some patience. Okay. The drawback of YouTube lectures what you know if you don't understand even a single concept immediately you are leaving but it is going to affect you but when you attend the full lecture then you will be very much confident about this topic this is my challenge my dear so uh, at the end of the session you let me know yes so finite set means what a set which is counted the element of the sets which is countable finite set infinite set number of stars in the sky okay number of stars in the sky it is infinite set is natural number set of all natural numbers is it countable my dear set of all natural number again it is infinite set okay this is what first two types third type null set or empty set what is my null set or empty set my dear a set which does not contain any element we call it as null set or empty set okay a set which does not contain any element we call it as null set or empty set for example natural numbers less than 1 natural numbers less than 1 is it null set or empty set my dear yeah void set very good Yamuna yes natural numbers less than 1 sir Natural number starts with 1, sir. There cannot be any number which is less than 1. Do you all agree? Then it is called empty set or null set. Then it is called empty set or null set. So, how we are going to denote this empty set or null set? That is very important thing, my dear. Empty set or null set can be denoted as like this or this way, phi. How to read it, my dear? Phi. Phi. This way you denote or this way you denote. Some people denote this as like this. This is not empty set, my dear. This is not empty set. Okay. This is not empty set. First you understand this. Okay. This is not empty set. Okay. If you write the like this, this is not empty set. Empty set has to be denoted like this, my dear. Okay. Now, next one, what we have to remember? No. Cardinal number, let us remember. What is it? Cardinal number. Cardinal number is nothing but number of elements in the set we call it as cardinal number. Number of elements in the set we call it as cardinal number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
for example if it is a can you please tell me how many elements are there in a how many elements are there in a my dear how many elements are there in a please start giving the answer how many elements are there in a yes kasturiya yes ramanujam very good fine bumblebee oh transformers and all attending the lectures okay akshada akshada is asking anyone from ednavet i am also from ednavet akshada yes n of a is equal to 5 what is n of a is equal to 5 n of a is equal to 5 there are five elements there are how many elements my dear <coughs> five elements so that is what we called as cardinal number okay now let us understand <coughs> equivalent set what is mean by equivalent set okay what is mean by equivalent set what is by equivalent set now listen here for example one set is having a b c other set is having 1 2 3 now listen here for example this is a and this is b now here in these two sets number of elements in a is equal to number of elements in b do you all agree my dear number of elements in a is equal to number of elements in b number of elements in a is equal to number of elements in b so this is what we call it as equivalent set equivalent set the elements are need not to be equal my dear elements need not to be equal only number of elements should be equal you all understand my dear yes wow satya thank you satya in advanced channel you are coming and answering in tamil okay yes so n of a is equal to n of b sixth one we need to talk about equal set what is mean by equal set equal set means number of elements also same as well as what each and every element also same for example a x such that x belongs to the letters of the word follow b x such that x belongs to num letters of the word wolf my dear can you tell me can you please tell me whether these two sets are equal or not yes Yes, yeah, Munna Devi. Can you start giving me the answer? Can we say? Can we say these two are equal or not? Yes, Akshat said no. Kasturiya said yes. Fan club says wolf. Okay, Sobia said uh, yes. Ramanujam equal equal. But is everyone saying equal? Yes. Of course, you understand then. They are equal sets. Why? I'll tell you. You write both. See, both are in set builder form. Convert these two into listing form. Then. F O L L O W. So can you write it in listing format? F O L. Sir, one more L, sir. No repetition not allowed. Sir, one more O, sir. Repetition not allowed. W. The actually only four letters are available. Next, what is B is equal to W O L F. Look at these two very carefully. All the letters are same. Sir, order is not same. Order is not needed. Okay, order no need to be equal, my dear. Order is not near, no need to be equal. So directly the letters are equal. Therefore we call it as A is equal to B. Is that clear, my dear? Say yes or no. A is equal to B. Is that clear, all of you? Yes. Yes, Daniel. <coughs> Fine. So this is what equal set. Next one. Universal set. universal set is a set contains every element is called universal set for example for example i am defining universal set as what 1 2 3 4 dot 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 up to 10 and a 1 2 3 b 7 8 9 now a and b the set a and b completely belongs to where all the elements in a and b completely belongs to U that is what our universal set for A and B. Universal set for A and B. Actually, I have to explain what is subset. After that, only I should have started. Okay. Now let me explain about the subset. Let me talk about subset and proper subset. 
there are many people are getting confused with this subset and the proper subset okay subset always what you know subset lies in theory actually subset is what theory theoretically subset will come practically when you know two sets that is can be defined proper subset can be defined example a and b are two sets then if i write a is subset of b because i don't know what is a what is b it is not properly defined so what i say okay a is subset of b theoretically i am writing but when i say like this a is 1 2 3 b is 1 2 3 4 5 now what we can say my dear sir a is completely line b right so a is proper subset of b do you all agree my dear how to read this a is proper subset of b see in this case it is actually what you know it can be equal also for example let me give you one small example between 5 and 3 sir you know what is 5 you know what is 3 you know what is 5 and you know what is 3 how you will define my dear sir 5 is sorry strictly more than 3 sir do you all agree my dear 5 is strictly more than 3 this you will say will you write 5 more than or equal to 3 no this is wrong because i know what is 5 i know what is 3 that is what we are writing like this or this way do you all agree with me my dear when i use variable because i don't know what is x x can be equal also so when i know no there is something which is not defined properly i write it as what equal to sign i'm using same way because it can be equal it can be equal so theoretically this is theory this is actually practical so practically we are going to have either proper subset theoretically we are going to have my dear subset okay now when i say a is subset of b when i say a is subset of b when i say a is subset of b either you say a is subset of b or we can say b is super set of a so what do we call as b my dear b is super set of a if a is subset of b then b is called what super set of a if i write this way what is mean by this what is mean by this this is called b is super set of a this way we can denote b is super set of a b must be the bigger set b must be the bigger set fine now in this case look at this universal set set a and set b both are subset of u am i right my dear both are subset of u therefore u is universal set therefore u is universal set my dear so far any doubt you have got please ask me now yes fine okay now listen here okay now important type of questions which can be expected in the examination there is a 90% of the chance in the exam this type of questions can be asked so please listen this to remember okay to remember now first total number of subsets what is total number of subsets my dear i think everyone knows it sir total number of subsets is 2 power n sir total number of subsets 2 power n for example a b c now tell me what are the subsets of this set my dear what are the subset sir a is a subset sir b is a subset sir c is a subset sir a b is another subset sir b c is another subset sir and a c is another subset sir and every set is subset of itself sir a b c and uh, every set will have empty set as its subset sir every set will have empty set as subset sir do you all agree total how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if there are three elements i am getting eight eight subsets which is nothing but 2 power 3 do you all agree my dear 2 power 3 if there are four elements it is going to be 2 power 4 if there are n elements there will be 2 power n okay yes
Yes, Sakshi will be there. Now, this is total number of subsets. What is it? Total number of subsets. Remember this. Sometimes total number of subsets can be asked. Sometimes total number of proper subsets. What is total number of proper subsets? Which is 2 power n minus 1. What is total number of proper subsets? 2 power n minus 1. Why, sir? Because look at this. A is proper subset, B is proper subset, C is proper subset, this is also proper subset, proper subset, proper subset, but A, B, C is equal set. It's subset, can be subset, but it is equal set. It is not a proper subset. And M, C set is a proper subset. So except this, rest everything is proper subset. Therefore, 2 power n minus 1. Third one. Total number of non-empty sets. Tell me my dear, what is total number of non-empty sets? Total number of non-empty sets. Total number of non-empty sets. Total number of non-empty sets. Very good Ramanujam. Very good. This is also 2 power n minus 1. Because non-empty sets means the empty set they ask only to find out the non-empty sets remove empty set the remaining elements we need to write this is total number of non-empty sets few people are writing 2 power n minus 2 I will give you the reason for it actually what is 2 power n minus 2 I will tell you total number of non-empty proper subsets which is nothing but 2 power n minus 2. We need to remove the equal set as well as empty set. So total number of proper subsets, non-empty proper subsets is 2 power n minus 2. Do you all agree with me my dear? Say yes or no. Guys, you understand this? Any doubt here? Fine. Next one is, I want you to learn about power sets. What is meant by power sets? Look at this. Given set is A, B, C. And they are subsets. Am I right, my dear? These all are what? Subsets. Set of all subsets, we call it as power set. So what is my power set, my dear? Set of all subsets, we call it as power set. You all understand this? Set of all subset, we call it as power set. Guys, say yes or no? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Next one. Set of all power subsets are called as what? Power sets. Next step. Algebra of sets. What is next? Algebra of sets. Very, very important thing. So, instead of Giving the definition, let me give you examples. Of course, you know, look at this. First, if universal set is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A is given as 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. B is given as 1, 4, 5, 7, 10. This is what given. Now, please give me the answer for A union B. Yes, Yamuna Devi. What is A union B? What is A union B? I want you to give me the answer, my dear. Please. Wrong, Vaishnavi. Yes, Subhya. Okay. Priyadashini wrong. Yes, Ramanujam. See, yeah, universe, that is union. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10. Is that right, my dear? This is what our A union B. This is what our A union B. Saloni, it is not 5, 7, my dear. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
seven, nine, ten. Now, tell me what is A intersection B is? What is A intersection B? The meaning of A intersection B is common element between the two sets. Tell me what are the intersection between A and B? Very good. <coughs> Five and seven. Excellent. Five and seven. Very good. Yes. Don't write it as fifty-seven, man. Five and seven. <coughs> Yes, Mayuresh. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Five and seven. Excellent. Next step. What is mean by A minus B? What is A minus B? I will tell you what is A minus B. We need to write all the elements of A except the elements common between A and B. Listen here. Two. Yes, sir. We can write three. We can write five. Sir, five is there in B, sir. Cancelled. We cannot write seven. Also, we cannot write. So only two, three, nine. Do you all agree, my dear? See, from A, remove the common element. That is what our A minus B. From A, remove the common element. That is what A minus B. My dear, what is B minus A? What is B minus A? What is B minus A, my dear? Yes, two, three, nine. Very good, Vedan. Everyone is right. Rajal right, Mahesh right. Yes. Yes, Priya Dasni. Yes, Anisha. Very good. Yes. Fine. Very good. Everyone is right. Yes, Muskan. Everyone is right. Ayushi, great, great, great. Yeah, Tamil, right. So, what is it? One, four. Ten. Except five, seven remaining elements to be written. Am I right, my dear? This is what our A union B. Now, tell me, my dear, what is A dash? What is A dash, sir? We need to write all the elements of universal set except the elements in A. See, this is A dash is nothing but U minus A. Tell me what is U minus A? What is A dash, my dear? Tell me. See, one, four, six, eight, ten. Am I right, my dear? One, four, six, eight, ten. Is it clear? Very good, Vedan. Yes. See, J Akash, everyone, Sheikh, everyone is right. Shiva Kumar, perfect. Shiva Kumar, wrong. You missed ten. Yes, Anisha, everyone is right. Yes, Muskan, very good. This is what our A dash. Tell me what is B dash. What is B dash now? What is B dash now? Yes, Vaishnavi. Two, three, six. Sri Ram, can you check it once again? Yes. What is B dash, my dear? What is B dash? B dash is two, three, six, eight, nine. Am I right? Am I right, my dear? Yes. Very good. Everyone giving me right answer. Excellent. Kalpana wrong. Check it once again. Yes. Okay, now to remember, A union B the whole dash is equal to what? A dash intersection B dash. A intersection B the whole dash is equal to what? A dash union B dash. Okay, now this is what we call it as D Morgan's law. Yes, Tanishk, say thank you, my dear. This is what we call it as D Morgan's law. A union B the whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. A intersection B the whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Next, 
Tell me what is n of a union b? n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Is it clear, my dear? Yeah. So n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Yeah. Very good. This one also you need to remember. Okay. This one you need to remember, my dear. Okay. Next. Product of two sets. What is it? Product of two sets. Look at this, my dear. Product of two sets. Listen here. For example, A is one, two, three. B is two, comma three. Now, the question is asked. A cross B. What is A cross B? I'll tell you. A cross B means don't multiply. Not opening the brackets. Here, A cross B. Actually, product of two sets. We call it as Cartesian product. Why n of a intersection b is subtracting, sir? Common elements to be removed, Gokula. A cross b. What is a cross b? I'll tell you. First, what is here? A. And what is here? B. So, what will come, my dear? First element. Put the ordered pair. It's simple bracket only to be used. One comma two. Next one comma three. Next one is what? Two comma two. Two comma three. Next one is what? Three comma two. Three comma three. Is that clear, my dear? Say yes or no. This is our A cross B. Can you please tell me what is B cross A? I want you to give me the answer for B cross A. I want you to give me the answer for B cross A. Guys, give me the answer. Yes, Vedant. Give me the answer for B cross B cross A. Give me the answer for B cross A. Alpita, I think uh, incomplete. Yes, <coughs> Vedant saying same as A. No. What is B cross A? B cross A is first B element will come first, then A. So two comma one, two comma two, two comma three, three comma one, three comma two, three comma three. This is what our B cross A. This is what our B cross A. We have A cross B and we have B cross A. Please, my dear, is A cross B equal to B cross A? Is A cross B and B cross A are same? No, they are not equal. But n of a cross b is equal to n of b cross a. Do you all agree, my dear? N of a cross b is equal to n of b cross a. N of a cross b equal to n of b cross a, which is equal to n of a into n of b. Is that clear, all of you? You all understand this, my dear? Whatever I am giving now, please. I am. I am pure. This is purely exam point of view. Okay, everything is exam point of view. Only one concept I am not explaining, which is Venn diagram. Now, Venn diagram concept will be explained when I solve the problem. Okay, yes. So this is pure examination point of view uh, solutions only I am giving. So please follow this very carefully. Okay, now as far as set is concerned, at least this much we need to remember. This is what we need to remember in sets. This is what we need to remember in sets. Next one. Relations. Okay, next one is relations. I want everyone should focus here. Let me tell you what is mean by relations. I think recently we have completed. You know what is relations, but still it's a small revision. Those who have not learnt this relations, the way I'm going to teach, but because relation is very much interesting. Okay, very much interesting. Now listen here. Actually, there are four types of relations we have. In this world, we have got four types of relation. Okay, anyone is having relation, na? Okay, anyone is having relationship, na? That every relationship can be defined in four ways. 
the relationships can be defined in four ways okay one is one to one okay one is what one to one i hope you are understanding what is mean by one to one okay genial please allow me to do the way i am doing you will be comfortable don't worry okay one is what one to one see set and relations are interconnected so we have to learn that yes next step another relation what is it one to many this is another relation what is it one to many listen here my dear that is i am standing i am taking lectures and you are sitting and watching my lecture now our relationship that is the relationship between me and you all is one to many okay the relation between me and you all it is one to many the relationship between me and my wife it is one to one of course yeah that's what everyone has to believe now third one now third one many to one yes what is many to one you people are watching my lecture now this relation is what from your side to my side it is many to one from your side to my side it is many to one finally many to many okay so many to many so one to one one to many many to one and many to many is it clear all of you these are the four types of relations out of these four relations whichever satisfying one to one and many to one only these two we are going to call it as functions is it clear my dear this is what we are going to call it as function my dear many to many example what i can give you know you people are coming to high q your people are coming to innovate the relationship you people are having na the relationship you people are having within yourself that is called many to many relationship because it is not that one is committed to other no everyone is committed to everyone so it is many to many thunder place aramshana one husband and wife two bestie to again you are coming to bestie very good thunder place romba da padikapotrukam okay what about on two functions sir what is mean by that yes oh on two function i'll come when i do a function i'll explain it wait okay so i'm just connecting relations with functions okay is there is any doubt here my dear any doubt here you all understand this fine okay <sighs> okay now listen here please listen here my dear guys you all understood or not is this this example you understood or not yeah fine okay next in relations we can define relations in three ways we can define relations in three ways okay we can rela rela define relation in three ways one is reflexive one is what reflexive second one is symmetric third one is transitive transitivity okay now listen here my dear in our example see the word relation comes na relation any word okay connecting two statements that word is we are calling it as relation relative word okay that word we call it as relative word for example for example sharuk wets gauri okay sharuk wets gauri now that wed is a relative word between sharuk and gauri is that right my dear say yes or no yes shake sir friend of sharuk yes friend of what is it it's a relative word now these words and all there na these words friend of and uh, wets love equal to etc 
we can define these things in three ways one is reflexive symmetric and transitivity all of you please listen here i'll try my level best to give the best examples and which are there in the book only okay in my best way to explain after my complete explanation you let me know whether you understood relations or not okay now attitude is saying you and your crush is equal to imagination or no relationship only you can understand that attitude fine now listen here reflexive symmetric transitivity now i'm going to give you few words which are going to relate say equal to is equal to is a relative word my dear because if you want to use equal to minimum two numbers are needed am i right my dear a equal to b only you can define can you say sir a equal to can you leave as it is it is incomplete so equal to is a relative word do you all agree my dear yes do you all agree my dear say yes or no fine next equal to please my dear listen here listen here equal to next one less than correct now this is also relative word only na it cannot be what you know uh, like anything we cannot use like you know five less than is it complete no sir it is incomplete sir what will come on the other side sir so this less than okay next reciprocal of reciprocal also relative only perpendicular to has the same father as has the same father as okay let us take love also as an example so that you can get some clarity for lighter note i'm taking love so that you can enjoy with this example now equal to see let us start with reflexive let let me tell you what is mean by reflexive let me tell you what is mean by reflexive reflex okay anga fan is odu the phone la pannunga illa okay reflexive sir you missed his spouse sir how can i miss my spouse which is nowhere it is possible my dear question bank okay then see that is highly impossible my spouse also watching this youtube lecture and uh, see please listen here please all of you listen here so equal to reflexive means what you know it's like mirror image okay reflexive means what it is mirror image for example can i say can i say a equal to a can we say that when equal to comes can we say a equal to a that is anything is equal to anything is it right can we say that ritika you it seems you are highly experienced ha huh? can we say a equal to a say yes or no so this is like a mirror and there is a mirror image so this is reflexive attitude is asking spouse means spouse means husband wife for husband wife is a spouse for wife husband no gender for spouse okay now listen here fine so equal to the word equal to is reflexive now tell me if i were if i use the word congruence to is congruence to is reflexive is congruence to is reflexive my dear is congruence to is reflexive congruence to means what you know we cannot say two triangles are equal we always say two triangles are congruence to each other now tell me my dear is congruence to is reflexive of course we can say triangle abc is congruence to triangle abc what is it my dear triangle abc is congruence to triangle triangle abc attitude is asking your spouse also attending foundation sir no my dear she is attending my lecture what i am doing because up to 10:30 i said in my house i'll be reaching at 11:30 so somebody has to watch me right Uh, i hope you are happy now okay fine next one can we say less than is reflexive okay can we say 
less than is reflexive my dear can we say less than is reflexive can you say sir can you write two less than two can you say two less than two see no number will be less than the other number am i right my dear so less than cannot be reflexive you all understand my dear Re less than cannot be reflexive is that clear all of you say so no guys very good now reciprocal of is reciprocal of is reciprocal of is reflexive is reciprocal of is reflexive <coughs> no for example 5 is reciprocal of 5 is it possible my dear actually 5 is reciprocal of 1 upon 5 right so this is not reflexive guys you understood the meaning of reflexive now guys you understood the meaning of reflexive see guys you understood the meaning of relation that word what i'm talking about now any relative word you take and you can check whether it is reflexive or not right now for example perpendicular to can i say line l is perpendicular to itself see line l can be parallel to itself but line l cannot be perpendicular to itself is that right this is different line and this has to be different line so perpendicular to is not reflexive do you all agree my dear now has the same father as is it reflexive you may be confused sir what is this sir nothing my dear here as well as here if i can put same person then it is called reflexive that's very simple right for example equal to can i put same two numbers in both the sides left hand side right hand side so it is reflexive can i put same number both the side no less than comes means same number cannot be put so therefore it is reflex it's not reflexive has the same father as can i say shake sir has the same father as shake sir of course it is reflexive any person okay any person you take okay everyone has got same father as the same person only na so both the sides i can put same person so therefore has the same father as reflexive okay now last part love now listen here love is hypothetical statement love is hypothetical statement now can you please tell me is love is reflexive can love be reflexive can love be reflexive yes 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 a hey, attitude what is the shake sir has the same students of shake sir so every year i don't want that okay i don't want every attempt i don't want same student i am teaching only foundation level if i keep on teaching the same student then what is the purpose of me standing here oh. yes it is hypothetical okay it is hypothetical actually love should be what we what we uh, do is what we say my personal opinion love should be reflexive love should be reflexive i strongly believe that everyone should love themselves everyone should love themselves हमें लव का कुछ नहीं पता सर क्या बात है अल्पिता वाओ यस सो लव इज रिफ्लेक्सिव व्हाट इज इट लव इज रिफ्लेक्सिव इज इट क्लियर माय डियर नाउ सेकंड पार्ट सिमेट्री सिमेट्री लिजन यार इक्वल टू ओके इक्वल टू फर्स्ट वर्ड इज व्हाट इक्वल टू इफ आई से इफ आई से ए इक्वल टू बी इफ आई से ए इक्वल टू बी कैन आई से बी इक्वल टू ए If I say a equal to b, can I say b equal to a? Yes. Very good. Ria is asking why love is reflexive. Hey Ria, you have to love yourself, Ria. I said it is hypothetical word. It is up to us. What I am feeling is if you don't know how to love yourself, how you will love others. is that right now listen here so if i can say a equal to b can i say b equal to a my dear then we can call it as symmetric then we can call it as symmetric is that clear all of you then we can call it as symmetric do you all agree my dear now tell me the word congruence to is it symmetric the word congruence to is symmetric मेरे लव के आगे डे है और कुछ भी जनियल 
<laughs> attitude making is a statement now look at this is congruence to congruence to means what you know two triangles triangle abc if i say triangle abc congruence to triangle pqr can i say triangle pqr congruence to triangle abc vice versa also possible so that is what symmetric or oh sorry it is congruence also symmetric next one is less than we can say 2 less than 3 can we say 3 less than 2 2 less than 3 can we say 3 less than 2 my dear 2 less than 3 can we say 3 less than 2 yes no 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 very good okay great so very good so less than is not symmetric is it clear my dear okay now reciprocal of let us start with reciprocal of 5 is reciprocal of 1 by 5 can i say 1 by 5 is reciprocal of 5 5 is reciprocal of 1 by 5 can i say 1 by 5 is reciprocal of 5 no yes okay 5 is reciprocal of 1 by 5 means i can say 1 by 5 is reciprocal of 5 vice versa possible therefore it is symmetric therefore it is symmetric do you all agree with me my dear do you all agree with me yes it is symmetric sir what if m1 sir because reciprocal of 1 is 1 only it is if except one rest everything satisfies am i right except one everything satisfies next step perpendicular to you tell me whether perpendicular to is uh, reflex is symmetric is perpendicular to is symmetric guys you tell me is perpendicular to is symmetric yes can i say line l perpendicular to line m means can we say that m is perpendicular to l can we say this can we say this so what is this this is symmetric this is symmetric now has the same father as is it symmetric has the same father as yes what janiel said never Uy. i did you say no janiel what is this vidur also giving no heart attack a ram has same father as lakshman can we say lakshman has same father as ram can we say that that's it now you understood it is symmetric now love is it symmetric again this love is also what you know situation only based on situation only okay is love is symmetric is love is symmetric maybe yes sir yes sir oh that means yeah first you give me the answer after that i'll come back to you first you start giving me the answer i want to check so everyone is giving love is symmetric so those who are giving symmetric that means these people are committed people correct na these people are committed it seems very good sir only in case of brother yes of course riya only in case of brother they if i write first person has the same father as second person of course those two people are either brothers or brothers and sister now what is this <coughs> okay now listen here fine so love it depends i said for example i love my mother my mother loves me i love my mother my mother loves me so nothing wrong in it now next one i love nayandara but nayandara i don't know nayandara love someone else right so in this case it is not symmetric am i right so it is based on situation that's what i said na to give clarity only i said it is based on the situation so symmetric i don't know because we love many people 
it doesn't mean that they loves us or not we don't know right what about one sided love hey farhan if one sided love means it is not symmetric symmetric means it should have two side ayo ali sir sir has got oh sir has crush on nayandara noted yes attitude thank you so much fine vignesh even wants to know your location okay i will send the location fine next one transitive ritika saying i love someone but he loves another person i think i have to send the statement to your parent it seems ritika <laughs> okay equal to what is mean by transitive let's see what is my transitive we'll see okay now if i say a equal to b b equal to c now i'm taking three people a equal to b b equal to c can we say a equal to c my dear can we say a equal to c is it possible sir your spouse is watching be careful i don't mind i don't care what you will do man ha huh? now if a is equal to b b is equal to c can we say a equal to c yes very good a advanced students please come back to the lecture so a equal to b b equal to c then we can say a equal to c this is called transitive therefore equal to is transitive yes janial jana to padega i have to go what to do yes now let me check less less than less than can we say 2 less than 3 i am taking some example 3 less than 4 can we say 2 less than 4 my dear can we say this 2 less than 3 3 less than 4 can we say 2 less than 4 say yes or no my dear say yes or no 2 less than 3 3 less than 4 can we say 2 less than 4 yes this is called transitive now reciprocal of the word reciprocal of is always between two numbers third number not possible only it is always between two numbers so definitely transitivity not possible perpendicular to also it is always between two lines third line not possible but if it is three dimension it is possible we are talking about two dimension therefore this is also not transitive now has the same father as tell me my dear has the same father as has the same father as is it transitive india won by 3 not 2 runs india sri lanka 3 not 2 runs how no difference ah yes has the same father as very good now you are understanding it seems transitive what is mean by that see ram has same father as lakshman lakshman has same father as bharat so can we say ram has same father as bharat of course all three are brothers only na yes okay wow question bank thank you so much oh so nice of you listen to the lecture only listen to the lecture only very good so this is transitive do you all agree my dear this is transitive can we say that see ram has same father as lakshman lakshman has same father as bharat can we say ram has same father as bharat we can say that so therefore it is transitive okay now listen here love love is it transitive depends depends fine okay depends now listen here my dear what is it for example shake sir loves nayandara but nayandara loves vignesh sivan if transitive holds what will happen shake sir loves vignesh sivan recently judgment came it is not allowed so some cases which is not possible for example in uh, family matter it's okay yes okay yes fine you understand my dear 
Yes, this is what transitive. Let me give you one last word, and I want you to tell me whether it is whether it is uh, reflexive symmetry or transitive. Okay, now spouse of. I love Allu Arjun. Allu Arjun love Rashmika. So I Rashmika loves me. Oh. Vaishnav is saying in BTS yes. First, let us understand BTS, who are male and who are females. First, let me understand that I am finding it very difficult. Now, spouse of, start my dear spouse of. Whether it is reflexive, spouse of cannot be reflexive. Can I say Shakespeare is spouse of himself? Arey, what nonsense, man. Can I marry myself? No. Okay, spouse of is not reflexive. Oh, Sri Ram, you are giving me reflexive. Okay, I galti se type hoga. Okay, fine. Sigma shake, sir. What is it, man? Is it is it symmetry? Is it symmetry? Is spouse of a symmetry? Sigma male. Okay. Hey, spouse of yes, sir. <gasps> spouse of yes. Listen here. Yeah, nine dara is spouse of Vignesh Sivan. So Vignesh Sivan is spouse of nine dara. It's okay, fine. Yes, it is symmetry. Spouse of is symmetry. What about transitivity? Transitivity. Vedant is spouse of Rashmika, but Rashmika is spouse of Allu Arjun. Now, if transitive holds, Vedant is spouse of Allu Arjun. Is that what you want, Vedant? Yes. No. Never. Now you understand what is mean by reflexive symmetry and transitive. Is that clear, my dear? Now you understood what is my real reflexive symmetry and transitive. You will never forget, my dear. Okay. You all understand? Paran, it is L G T B T, na? Not L G T V. L G T. <laughs> L G T. Now listen here. Yeah. Okay, great. You understood now? Yes. This opposing reason. Okay, Vaishnavi. I am not coming for uh, this thing. Okay. Spouse only symmetric. Very good, Sri Ram. Of course. Now you understood, right? Now listen here. Here equal to holds all the three condition. If anything holds all the three conditions, we can call it as what? Equivalent to equivalent relation. Okay, equivalent relation. My dear, jokes apart. Now fun part is over. Now you all understood or not? Love is transitivity or not? Ritika, it is up to you, my dear, with whom you are uh, comparing. Okay, with whom you are comparing? V T S Rose. Hey, why are you? Aditya, you are gone, man. The V B T S fan club now will reject me then. So they are like you know soldiers. They are. They have army. B T S army. They will come and shoot me. Okay. Even has the same father as also equivalent. Is that right, my dear? Has the same father also equivalent. Is that clear, all of you? Fine. Okay, jokes apart. Now we'll come to this. Come back with the other examples. Now the word is over. I hope now you understood what you are doing. But in the examination, this way also question can be asked. Sometimes, not sometimes, many times questions are different types they are asking. In congruency, congruency is nothing but equal to only Amrita. Fine. Yes, why Bob? Correct. You are right. Next one. Let us start. Let us start. Okay. Fine. Now, in relations, see, I'll tell you one thing. A is A B C. Can anyone tell me A cross A? Can anyone tell me what is A cross A? Can anyone tell me what is A cross A, my dear?
please please start are please stop the fight man this bts fight na that's what i don't use these kind of uh, words in the lecture it is unnecessary people na now listen here what is abc are yaar alpita sabka raaz bahar nikal rahi hai to chhod na bechara usko chhod de look at this a is abc what is a cross a yeah ye comma a ye comma b b comma sorry ye comma c next one is what b comma a b comma b b comma c then what c comma a c comma b c comma c is it clear my dear this is our a cross a now in the example in the exams they will be giving you something called as r r is a comma a a comma b b comma c this way what is this you know a comma a a comma b b comma c is a subset of a cross a is a subset of a cross a do you all agree my dear my dear this is very important please listen here very important listen here is it subset of a cross a comma a a comma b b comma c is that clear now the question will be asked like this see then we can say r as mapping between a to a this is what r is subset of a cross a r is subset of a cross a then what is r is a to a what is r is a to a relation what is it r r is what mapping between a to a okay map is mapping between what a and a mapping between a and a so now this type of set will be given to you after that they will be asking you to find out whether it is reflexive symmetry or transitive such a fantastic question listen here my dear please chhod do yaar please come 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 here it's a very important concept listen here see if a is equal to question will be given like this a b c okay if a is a is what a b c r is mapping between a to a okay mapping between a and a okay now r is given as a comma a b comma b c comma c a comma b b comma a let me take this as r1 another set also let me take a comma a this is first question let me take this is another question a comma a c comma c a comma b a comma c this is another question we need to check here what is reflexive symmetry and all okay now first one r1 please listen this very carefully my dear okay listen this very carefully my dear we need to check whether it is reflexive symmetry or transitive this is the question in the exam this is the way question will be asked okay now how many elements are there a b c three elements are there if r1 has to hold a transitive condition that r1 should have see look at this a comma a am i right it is like mirror image b comma b c comma c now what you can say my dear sir this is reflexive sir a comma a b comma b c comma c all three exist we can say it as reflexive we can say it as reflexive next next one check whether it is symmetric or not yes look at this sir a comma b if a comma b available b comma a also available am i right my dear a comma b is there b comma a also is there so what we can say my dear this is symmetric what is this symmetric this is symmetric also a comma b available b comma a also available therefore it is symmetric then let me check transitive if at all has to be transitive na for example if a comma b available b comma c is also available then there should be look at this transitive means what you know second element it's a first element what is remaining my dear if i can write a comma c if all the three elements are available then i can say it is transitive please look at this this is little bit confusion please listen this very carefully otherwise you will forget everything look at this for example a comma a second element is a now take another element 
okay take another set another element which a has got the first element okay now what is it let me take a comma b what is a comma a a comma b will give you a comma b sir a comma a a comma b gives me a comma b is a comma b lies in that set yes same way b second element b first element b cut cut what is remaining b comma a is b comma a lies in the set yes so therefore this is also transitive okay this is also transitive with this example you may not there is you know for a few people those who are learning for the first time 50% you might have got the clarity now second sum 100% will get cleared listen here r2 is r2 is reflexive is r2 is reflexive in transitive all conditions must satisfy not that is equivalent is r2 is r2 is reflexive is r2 is reflexive a comma a c comma c is there but still it is not reflexive because there should be b comma b also is it clear my dear if b comma b also should be there then only it is reflexive otherwise it is not reflexive therefore it is not reflexive is it clear all of you this is not reflexive people are saying yes reflexive no my dear it is not reflexive because b comma b also needed you all understand my dear okay next step it is not reflexive next step let me check whether it is symmetric a comma b is there if a comma b is there means b comma a also should be there is it there is it there b comma a therefore it is not symmetric this is not symmetric am i right my dear let me check transitive fine a comma a a comma b will take am i right a a cut what is remaining a comma b is it there in the set yes same way a comma a a comma c cut cut a comma c only will come is a comma c lies in the set yes so therefore this is only transitive do you all agree my dear it's it's see listen here my dear the transitive part may be little bit confused but actually what you know you need to be little more focused that's it it is transitive it is transitive okay what is meant by what about c okay next one my dear yes now listen here next part functions let us talk about types first type odd function second type even function are wait mayuresh when i do the problem once again i'm going to explain odd function and what is even function let me explain listen here faran everyone please wait one more example is coming at that time i'll explain don't worry sir we solve symmetric and reflexive no need to solve transitive no no you have to solve okay now listen here what is odd function what is even function alpita i said will do it okay now listen here for example if f of x is equal to x cube plus x f of x is equal to what x cube plus x then what we need to do you know f of minus x find that is replace x as minus x replace x as minus x now what you'll get minus x the whole cube plus minus x what is minus x the whole cube minus x cube minus x take minus outside x cube plus x is f of minus x is equal to minus f of x do you all agree my dear is f of minus x is equal to f of minus x say yes or no
f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. This is what we call it as odd function. This is what we call it as odd function. What is mean by? Okay. Yes, Ritika. What is mean by even function? I hope you all understanding. Yes, that's what Ritika is saying. You don't worry, my dear. You see, you will solve questions without my support. Even functions. F of x is equal to x square plus one. Put f of minus x. What you are going to get? Minus x the whole square plus one is equal to what? X square plus one. Actually, what you are getting, my dear, f of minus x is equal to again f of x. Is that right? When f of minus x, when you replace x as minus x, if it is minus f of x, we call it as odd function. If f of minus x is equal to plus f of x, we call it as even function. This is what even function. I'll give an example. I want you to tell me whether it is odd or even. Are you ready? Check whether it is odd or even. Check whether it is odd or even. Check whether it is odd or even. Because saying odd. Yes, Ramanujam, Ragul, odd is saying okay. Fine. Everyone is giving me odd. Most of the people are giving me odd. Look at this. What is f of minus x? Minus x the whole cube plus one, which is equal to minus x cube plus one. Guys, everyone is committing one mistake. Why you are not understanding? If I take minus outside, within the bracket, I am going to get x cube minus one. But f of x is x cube plus one. So f of minus x. Is not equal to minus f of x. Please understand. So this is neither even, neither even nor odd. Everyone is giving me odd function. What is this? This is neither even nor odd. Is it clear? Understood or not? So please. Carefully, you have to check the options. Okay, carefully, you have to check the options. Okay. Next. Inverse function. Okay, inverse function. Look at this. If f of x is equal to, if f of x is equal to. X square. Find f inverse of x. If f of x is equal to x square, then find f inverse of x. Just do what I'm saying. Just do what I'm saying. Can I say I'm going to write y is equal to x square? I'm going to write the equation in terms of y. So therefore, can you tell me what is x is equal to? Root y. What is x is equal to? Root y. X is equal to what? Root y. That's it. Therefore, our f inverse of x is equal to write that y in terms of x only. That's it. Wherever you are replacing y, now that you take it as what? X only. That's it. Okay. Now, for example, f of x is equal to x plus two by x minus two. All of you listen here. f of x is equal to x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 find f inverse of x what is step number 1 write y is equal to x plus 2 by x minus 2 this is step number 1 step number 2 we have to simplify that and we need to write an equation x in terms of y okay x in terms of y now please cross multiply what you are going to get x y minus 2 y cross multiplication is equal to x plus 2. I'm keeping x on one side. So what you are going to get x y minus x is equal to 2 plus y. Do you all agree, my dear? Take x outside. 
y minus 1 is equal to y2 plus y can write it as y plus 2. Am I right? Say yes or no. Therefore, x is equal to y plus 2 by y minus 1. What is x is equal to my dear? y plus 2 by y minus 1. Is that clear? Oh, sorry, what mistake I did? Correct only, na? xy minus 2y. See? Plus 2y. I missed 2. Plus 2y. What is it? 2y plus 2. Is this right, my dear? 2y plus 2. Is it clear? Yes. So now, x is equal to 2y plus 2 by y minus 1. This is what you are going to get. But final answer, you are not supposed to write like this. Final answer, you need to write it as f inverse of x is equal to 2x. Replace y as x. That's it. What is it, my dear? 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. What is it? 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. Sir, 2 y hai. Yes, yes, I changed it. Okay, now you understood my dear. 2 x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. Clear, very good. Fine. Now, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you try this? Can you please try this? Sri Ram, 50% clear. Now you try, you will get the 100%. Yes, Rashi. Fifty to fifty. Wait, wait, you try. So what is the first step you will be writing, my dear? Y is equal to two x plus one divided by x minus three. Now cross multiplication x y minus three y is equal to two x plus one bring x to one side x y minus 2 x is equal to 1 plus 3 y take x common y minus 2 is equal to 3 y plus 1 therefore x is equal to 3 y plus 1 divided by y minus 2 so tell me what is f inverse of x what is f inverse of x what is f inverse of x 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. Have you all, how many of you got this answer, my dear? Sir, x sling, yes, x sling instead of y. Is it clear, all of you? fine Sakshi is asking any hack of course I have a hack I don't know whether you will be able to understand or not Terima. in the classroom I did what then in my hack in that uh YouTube shorts also there that hack. 
with symbol but okay fine i'll tell you i'll teach is it perfect my dear see yes listen here see when the coefficients of x is what you know the denominator one and all comes now so what simply that is plus minus in this way it is there simply what you do you know just do what i'm saying my dear only interchange the coefficients interchange the coefficients we have to change the sign when the signs are in opposite my dear interchange the coefficients are you getting the same answer Let's check that here constant is 3 na here 3 play replaced 2 as 3 2 replace it as 2 i think you got it am i right same thing you can apply here also same thing here also you can apply what is it sir coefficient is 1 bring 1 here take the 2 there that's it in one line why i'm not changing the sign you know both are having the same sign this one opposite sign means i'll be changing it i don't know whether you understood or not fine okay in shorts it is given my dear check that once again okay now listen here composite function composite function what is composite did you all like that uh, trick my dear what i did yes composite function composite function is what combination of two functions what is f of x is equal to bumble b it is only by f upon upon something that only will helpful f of x is equal to x plus 2 g of x is equal to x square what is composite function is they may ask you to find out f of g of x or g of f of x this also can be asked as fog gof both are one and the same i'll be doing f of g of x i want you to do g of f of x so f of g of x in function f of x wherever x comes there you replace g of x so here what you will write my dear g of x plus 2 but you know what is g of x is what is g of x is x square x square plus 2 answer over i want you to find out g of f of x yeah can you please find out g of f of x yes ramanujam you are right genial wrong anisha wrong the starting lectures many people were joining during live then slowly reduced it i don't know what is going to happen when it is the last lecture okay now g of f of x is equal to sir here wherever x is there will be replacing f of x sir so therefore f of x is the whole square but we know what is f of x is x plus 2 the whole square fine so this is what fog gof and all next important type of questions can be expected in the examination listen here any polynomial we call it as a function when it holds 1 to 1 many to 1 relation when our these two relations are hold then only we can call it as a function okay 1 to 1 and many to 1 for example i'll tell you what is 1 to 1 and many to 1 if f of x is x plus 1 f of x is what x plus 1 my dear this is pure exam point of view just make it fast because i have to start the numericals now f of x is equal to x plus 1 what is f of 1 what is f of 1 2 what is f of 2 3 what is f of 3 Four, is that right, my dear? Now, if f of x is equal to x square, 
what is f of 1 1 f of minus 1 that is also 1 what is f of 2 4 f of minus 2 also 4 am I right my dear now look at this these are all values of x am I right these are all values of f of x am I right my dear values of x values of f of x now I am writing values of x here 1 2 3 these are values of x and what are the values of f of x for example some set is given a is given as 1 2 3 b is given as 2 3 4 5 look at this how the mapping is how the mapping is my dear 1 to 2 is that right say yes or no 2 to 3 is that right is that clear 3 to 4 is that correct my dear did you all understand the mapping have you all understood the mapping say yes or no have you all understood the mapping this is what mapping for example look at this sir every element in A has got image in B sir every element in A has got image in B now the values of X we call it as domain and the value of B we call it as co-domain okay this is B B everything is not co-domain but in B only 2 3 4 is having pre image do you all agree my dear only 2 3 4 is having pre image therefore range is 2 3 4 you understand my dear what is domain 1 2 3 what is codomain every set in B is codomain but what is range range is nothing but whichever element has got the pre image you all understood this my dear says or no Muska, now you are clear with codomain and range many people are saying range no codomain is different range is different don't get confused my dear actually range is subset of codomain range is subset of codomain okay now Muska, now you understood what is the difference between range and codomain I hope now you understood what is the difference between range and codomain yes now look at this see let me take this example values of x 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 ok next 1 and 4 this is my a this is my b see this is given ok this is what given look at this how the mapping is how the mapping is 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 am I right my dear 2 to 4 minus 2 to 4 is it clear my dear now look at this relationship is it 1 to 1 is it nothing but is it many to 1 my dear say yes or no now for this for this what is domain domain is what what is domain my dear domain 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 answer me my dear fast what is domain very good Ramanujam domain 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 case I told you I'll be doing how to approach maths paper yes can you please tell me what is domain yes sir domain is 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 okay what is 1 and 4 what is codomain 1 and 4 what is range again 1 and 4 in this case codomain and range are one and the same but in this case codomain and range are not one and the same do you all agree my dear so here this is many to one do we have any extra elements in B or otherwise we can say sir in this in this one in this relation codomain and range are equal if codomain and range are equal we call it as many to one as well as on two many to one as well as on two say yes or no my dear in case in this case you come here sir there is extra element sir 
sir there is extra element sir okay there is extra element sir co domain is not equal to range sir in this case it is 1 to 1 as well as into this 1 to 1 into function okay now listen here please listen here my dear the meaning of into function is what you know 1 to 1 you understood many to 1 you understood 1 to 1 many to 1 One to one function can be into. One to one function can be onto also. Same way, many to one can be into as well as onto. It depends. Now, when there is no extra element here, we can call it as what? Onto. Here there is extra element. We call it as into. Actually, what you know, code domain and the range are two different things. Please don't get confused. Some cases, code domain and range may be equal. in that case it is onto function okay sir many to one and onto are the same so they are not see they are two different things i hope now you understood what i said about kalpana now you understood onto is different into is different many to one is different one to one is different but one to one as well as onto one to one as well as into this way we can speak fine in the exam how the questions are going to be asked i'll tell you look at this now come to this point you may get clarity now now listen here see r is given as sorry a is given as 1 2 3 b is given as a b c now listen here now please listen this very carefully please listen this very carefully this is what given and this r also given we need to check what type of function it is we need to check what type of function it is listen here my dear very carefully you reason here this one the first thing is there no 1 2 3 this 1 2 3 we call it as domain and second part is always what range second part is always range but set b is what codomain now please listen here let me write set a what is set a 1 2 3 What is set B, my dear? A, B, C. Now look at the relation. What are the relations? One comma A. Two comma B. Three comma A. Now tell me, my dear, what type of function it is? Very good, Muska. What type of function it is? You tell me, my dear, what type of function it is? many to one and yes many to one and into very good usain sheik very good one to one and onto function it is many to one i am getting one to one why one to one say you are saying i don't understand it is see there are many going to one how it will be one to one <coughs> Yamuna Devi is giving me one to one. What is this, man? This is many to one and into. Okay. Okay. Now that's all with the introduction part. Don't worry. I'll be doing problems. When the when I start doing the problems, you will come to know what exactly. One one more example is coming. Wait. Now look at this. Now. let n be the set of natural numbers e be the set of all even natural numbers then the function f is n to e defined as f of x is equal to 2x for every x belongs to n wait my dear my pen is not writing saloni many to one into or not same Many to one as well as into. I saw bolne ga. Now look at this. This is mapping for every x, two x. For every x belongs to n. Look at this, my dear. This is a function. We need to check whether it is one to one or whatever it is. Look at this. See what is x is natural number, my dear. F. The function is n to e. This is my domain. this is my range is it clear all of you 
now look at this what is domain my dear it's a natural number what is domain it's a natural number what are they 1 2 3 dot 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 fine what is e even natural numbers 2 4 6 8 dot 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 am i right my dear now what is the function given as f of x is equal to 2x f of x is equal to 2x first you will substitute x as 1 so what will come here 2 can we say 1 to 2 2 is 4 3 to 6 dot 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 is that right my dear say yes or no so now you tell me what type of function it is it is one to one function because every element in a will have the image in b exactly one image therefore it is one to one as well as on to because every element will have the pre image it is one to one as well as on to c is the right answer very good mayuresh i think now you understood one to one as well as on to now in a town of 20000 families it was found that 40% families buy newspaper a 20% families buy newspaper b 10 paper 10% family buys newspaper c 5% buys both a and b 3 buys b and c 4% buy a and c 2% family buy all the three papers the number of paper which buy a only see listen here simple method is what Venn diagram method. There are three newspapers, so draw three circle. Now look at this. The question is only A. Now don't worry about this twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollar will say later. Is the question is based on twenty uh, percentage? So take take total hundred. Now how many of them buying newspaper A? Forty. No need to put forty percent. You use forty only. Last answer will check. Now how many of them buy only C? Only B? Twenty, only C. Sorry, not one. Uh, C is ten percent. Y and B. Y and B is what? Five percent. B and C. Three. C and A. And all the three two. Now the question they ask you to find out is what only A. That means from the circle, whatever intersection portions are there that has to be removed. Am I right? So first. Five minus two is it nothing but three, my dear? Next, four minus two is equal to two, my dear. Now remove all the intersection points from forty. Forty minus three minus two minus two. What is it, my dear? Is it thirty-three? Only A they ask you to find out. Therefore, thirty-three percent of twenty thousand. Six thousand six hundred. Is that clear, my dear? Question bank. It is not time consuming actually. These questions and all you can attend. Fine. See, this is not now. This is not time consuming. Oh, very difficult question, man. Very difficult question. The number of proper subset of the set. Three, four, five, six, seven. Very difficult question. I want you to give me the answer. Yes, the number of proper subset of the set three, four, five, six, seven. Ramanujam says B B B B. Anisha says B. Janiel says B. Vaishnavi Shakti will Y. Wrong, Vaishnavi. Rajal right. Muskan wrong. Sakshi right, Muskan wrong, Bai Bai right. My dear, you are not noticing one thing. Madhavi wrong. It is proper subset. Proper subset formula I gave it as two power n minus one, which is two power five minus one, thirty two minus one, thirty one. Is that right? I don't know why you people are giving me thirty and all. Now. A is one two three four, B is one four nine sixteen twenty five. If a function f is defined as what, f of x is equal to x square, then the range. Look at this simple. What is A? One two three four. What is B? What is B? One four nine sixteen twenty five. 
Now look at this. What is function x square? What is 1 square? What is 2 square? What is 3 square? What is 4 square? Now tell me what is range? What is range my dear? What are range? What is range? Can you give me the range? Range is what? 1, 4, 9, 16. Then what is B? What is B? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 is called what? Codomain. Very good. I hope now you understood the difference. Now you understood the difference. Do you all understand my dear? Yes, Janiel, right. See how beautifully people have started giving the answer. Very good. Now, I think I did not give the formula for number of relations, right? Yes. Determine the number of relations. Look at this. Number of relations formula you write. Number of relations is equal to. I think I am very much happy my dear. Very very happy. Now you started finding the difference between domain, co-domain and the range. I am very happy because you people are giving me the right answer. Because so much confusion between co-domain and range you know people are getting confused. Okay. Total number of relations. 2 power mn. Total number of relations formula 2 power mn. Now here 2 power how many elements are there in the first set? 2. How many elements are there in the second set? 2. So my answer is 2 power 4 which is 16. Option B. Yes. My dear innovators understood. My dear IQ understood. Yes. I think I you can you can find out this my dear. Cardinal number of A minus B. I think I explained to you the meaning of cardinal number. Now you understand why I was explaining about cardinal number in the examination. They are asking you to what is cardinal number. What is cardinal number? Sir, first let us find out A minus B. What is A minus B my dear? 2, 4, 6 is gone. Remaining how many elements? Sir, 4 elements sir. Therefore what is cardinal number my dear? So cardinal number of A minus B is 4. Very good. Understood? Yes. You people started giving me a right answer. High QNs understood, understood sir. Very good question bank. Identify the function from the following. Look at this. These questions and all comes now. You should be very happy. You should dance in the exam hall, you know. Look at this. Please listen here. First one. See, domain. First element is domain. Only one is there. One. This is one too many. One too many cannot be the function. Otherwise, what we can do, you know. When the domain has got repeated elements, cannot be the function. Now, can be function? See domain, 2, 2, 2 times it has come, cannot be the function. Next, what about C? Let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here what is it? Sir, only 2. What is this my dear? Many to 1. Many to 1 is a function or not? Many to 1 is, see, 1 to 1 is a function, many to 1 is a function. Therefore, option C. My dear, now you understand why I was explaining about 1 to 1, 1 to many, many to 1, many to many. This is the reason I always tell you to attend my lecture patiently. That is, initial part is very much important. Okay, if you don't attend those things, directly if you start doing it, you will not be able to understand. I hope now you understood, my dear. I think many of you are giving me the right answer. What is Janiel? Last me one ayato function. Acha, many to one to one, many to one. Wow. Okay. So always have some patience. Whenever you come for my lecture, you should have some patience and uh, you will enjoy the session. 
I think my student knows about it. In uh, what is it? Uh, statistics and all. I start very slowly. Full theory. Most of them will sleep only. Okay, but when I start doing the problems, everything they will solve it on your own, on their own. So very very important that is. Okay. Can you do this? A minus B union C. Tell me what is A minus B? Two six nine union two six eight. So what is it? Two six eight nine. Why Sri Ram? Why did you give A? I am getting C. Attitude is giving me two nine. Next, A is one two three four up to ten. A relation A x comma y such that x plus y is equal to ten. X belongs to A, Y belongs to A. X is more than or equal to Y. Then domain of R inverse. My dear, my dear children, listen here. You may be wondering, sir, this is a difficult question, but actually the most simplest question this is. Look at this, please. It's in set builder form. Do you all agree? Is X plus Y equal to ten? And what is the relation between X and Y? X is always More than or equal to y. Now, listen here. Only possibilities between c x plus y equal to ten. So only possibilities. To get ten, what are the possibilities between one and ten? One plus nine, ten. Am I right? Two plus eight. Then three plus seven. Four plus six. Five plus five. Then six plus four. Reverse, na? Seven plus three, eight plus two. Is that right, my dear? Now, here x is more than or equal to y. That means first one is always more than y. That is what we have to take. So definitely, this is not possible. Do you all agree, my dear? So my mapping is what you know: six comma four, seven comma three, eight comma two, nine comma one. Guys, did you understand this part? Ah. Greater than or equal to also there. Sorry, five comma five also will come. You all understand this? Say yes or no. This is my R. This is my R. Did you understand this? Yes, my Rish. This is this is this is. You understood this, my dear? Guys, you all understood or not? Say yes or no. I want I want yes or no. Whatever. Yes, genial. Very good. Yes, sir. Now, this is for R. What is R inverse? What is R inverse? Four comma six, three comma seven, two comma eight, one comma nine, five comma five. This is my R inverse. Now the question: domain of R inverse. The question is what domain of R inverse? The first part is my domain. So tell me what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Guys, did you all understand this? That's it. Now you think this is difficult, but by reading the question, you will decide. No, no, this I cannot do. But how simple question they are asking? Yes, you all understood. Yes. Oh, Babre, very difficult. I want you to do it. What is the number of subsets of three, four, five? Eight. Option B. Now, f of x is x square. G of x is root x. Then we need to check. Let me check. First, find g of f of x. Okay, let us find out g of f of x. Tell me what is g of f of x? This is my g. This is x now. So replace root of f of x. But what is f of x? Is root x square. Is it nothing but x, my dear? So g of f of x is x. G of f of three is what? Three. Sir, option A is true, sir. 
guys clear option a is true that's it ha huh. which of the following is a function look at this domain a b c p q s is it a function look at this what is a actually a b c d what is what is b is p q r s first one is a p b q c s uh, sorry is it a function or not it's a function or not i want you to tell me whether it is a function or not answer my question why it is not a function it is not a function because an element in domain does not have image in a codomain part that means it is not a function see in codomain part there can be any extra element but in domain part there cannot be any extra element therefore it is not a function so therefore only option d okay this is option d am i right this is a inverse the whole inverse which is a only ah okay this one is numerical sum look at this allow me to do f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 the question they ask you to find out f of 7 what is given f of 0 is 0 f of 1 is 1 my dear please you need to have some patience i want to find out f of 7 so that means what is f of 7 according to here f of 6 plus f of 5 sir f of 6 f of 5 is not there sir first i need to find out f of 6 after that i need to find out f of 5 okay fine one by one we'll go first n value can start from 2 only first find f of 2 what is it f of 1 plus f of 0 I think you know what is f of one is one plus zero. What is it, my dear? One. Find f of three. What is f of three? F of two plus f of one. F of two, you know. Just now only you got one. F of one is given as one. Two. F of four. What is it, my dear? F of three plus f of two. my dear what will come f of 3 plus f of 2 f of 3 is given 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 find f of 5 f of 4 plus f of 3 f of 4 is 3 plus 2 f of 6 f of 5 plus f of 4 5 plus 3 now f of 7 f of 6 plus f of 5 what is f of 6 is d that's it the so question is nice but of course every sum don't expect me to solve using some hacks and all there are few sums you need to solve like this i want you to do this on your own For example, f of x is x plus one by x. Na, what you'll write? Y is equal to x plus one by x. X y minus x is equal to one. If I take x outside, what will come? So, what is f inverse of x is one by x minus one. two finite sets respectively have x and y number of elements the total number of subsets of the first 56 more than the total number of subsets second the value of x and y is respectively look at this it's orally you can solve two finite sets having x and y is a number of elements the total number of subsets of the 
first is 56 more than the total number of the second first let me find out what will be the total number of subsets of the first let us use trial and error method 6 and 3 2 power 6 2 power 3 tell me what is 2 power 6 and 2 power 3 my dear 64 8 what is the difference 56 answer is a that's it The number of items in set A, that is N of A, 40, N of B, 32, N of C, 50, I think, okay, N of A intersection B, 4, N of B intersection C, A intersection C, 5, N of B intersection C, 7, N of A intersection B intersection C, 2. The question is what? How many are in only one set? They ask you to find out n of a dash plus n of b dash plus n of c dash. I'll tell you. The best method, what you can go now? Venn diagram is best. Instead of using formula. A, B, C. What is it? 40, 32, 50. What is A and B? 4. A and C, 5. B and C, 7. All, 2. Now, first you will subtract here. 4 minus 2, 2. 5 minus 2, 3. 7 minus 2, 5. 40 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3. What is it? 33. 32 minus 2 minus 2 minus 5. What is it? 23. 50 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5. What is it? 40. They ask you to find out when of A dash, B dash, C dash. Na? 33 plus 23 plus 40. What is it, my dear? 96. Now, set of cubes of a natural number is infinite set. My dear, I explained about what is infinite set also. See, everything will come in the exam. So, don't lose the theory part. Inverse function. Now, here f inverse of y they are asking to find out. So, therefore, what you will do? You will write it x is equal to 3y. y is equal to x by 3. So, what is f inverse of x is y by 3. Option B. The set of cubes of natural number, what a difficult question once again. Now, in the set of all straight lines on a plane, which of the following is not true? Parallel 2 is an equivalence relation. Let me check. Line L parallel to line L. Can we say that? Yes, sir. So, therefore, reflexive. Line L parallel to line M. So, can we say line M is parallel to line L? Yes, sir. So, symmetry. If line L parallel to line M, line M parallel to line N, is line L parallel to line N, my dear? So, therefore, it is transitive. If all three are hold, it's equivalence. Oh, not true. Oh, sorry. So, parallel to is equivalence. Perpendicular to is symmetric. Of course, line L perpendicular to line M. So, line M perpendicular to line L. It is true. Perpendicular to is equivalence. No. Option C. Guys, when I was doing that example, now you may be wondering why sir is doing that example. Same question has come here. Right? When I was doing some examples, you may be thinking why sir is, I think, uh, wasting our time. But see, this is what? Uh, remember, it is pure exam point of view, my dear. Okay. f of x is equal to 2x for x more than 3. x square for x is between 1 and 3. This is x. 3x for x is less than or equal to 1. First, f of minus 1. Where is minus 1, my dear? Yes, Ritika. Where is minus 1, my dear? Here. This is what? Because less than 1, na? less than 1. So, there you substitute 
3 into minus 1 is equal to minus 3. Is that right? Where will be f of 2, my dear? 2 is between 1 and 3. So, second function I have to take. What is second function? x square. So, 2 square which is 4. What is f of 3? Sir, sorry, f of 4 more than 3. This one I should take. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. 12 minus 3 is 9. Answer is 9. The range of f defined by f of x is equal to root of 16 minus x square is. They ask you to find out range my dear. Huh? Very simple. See, for example, y is equal to 16 minus x square. This is what right now? Fine. So, they ask you to find out the range. So, for example, x square is equal to 16. What is x is equal to? Plus or minus 4. The range definitely is going to be plus 4 or minus 4. I want you to do this on your own. Don't get upset about the question. Find f inverse of x first. Find f inverse of x. Then substitute 1 by 2 in that. Now, f of g of 3, g of f of minus 3. First, f of g of x. What is f of g of x, my dear? Here, g of x to be replaced. So, what is g of x is? Mod 2x plus 3, the whole square minus 1. Am I right? But, mod less means absolute value. Square is actually absolute value only. 4x square plus 6x plus 9 minus 1, 4x square plus 6x plus 8. But the question is f of g of 3. Substitute 3 here my dear. What is 3? 4 into 3 square plus 6 into 3 plus 8. 9 fours are 36. 36 plus 18 is 54. 62. So this is 62. Can you all find out with me g of f of minus 3? find g of f of minus 3. First find g of f of x. So, here modulus of 2 into x square minus 1 plus 3. Wherever x comes now, there we have to replace x square minus 1. g of f of 3 minus 3, sorry. Now, replace minus 3. 12 into, sorry, not 12 modulus of minus 3 the whole square is what my dear? 9 minus 1 plus 3. 2 8s are 16 plus 3 is 19. I am getting positive value only. Modulus is not needed. 19. What is 62 minus 19? 40. But option is not there. His values are correct. Can you please check the value, my dear? Huh? His values are correct. Huh? Okay. Let us go to the nearest value as Raghul Raj says. What is the nearest value? 41C. Now, can you give me the answer for this? Let u be the universal set, a and b the subsets. n of u minus equal to 650, n of a is equal to 310. Okay. Then n of a intersection b. See, what is n of a in union b equal to formula? There is lot of mistake in the questions my dear because a intersection b is given in spite of that they are asking a intersection b maybe they ask you to find out a union b so what is n of a union b a 
n of a what is n of a what you are getting 4 not fine but a union b they ask you to find out what a union b actually total from total we need to remove this 245 <coughs> out of group of 20 teachers in school 10 teach mathematics 9 teach physics 7 teach chemistry 4 teach mathematics and physics but none of the teacher both mathematics and chemistry how many teach chemistry and physics how many teach only physics i want to give this as homework to you all tomorrow you please try and come try to use trial and error method also total how many teachers 20 teachers 10 teachers mathematics 9 physics 7 chemistry oh 9 physics 4 teach maths and physics 4 teach maths and physics none of them teach both maths and chemistry none of them teach both maths and chemistry look at this zero that means this is also going to be zero because three common subject not possible now what they ask you to find out how many teach chemistry and physics and physics only okay that is fine now 10 minus 4 6 7 minus x this is 4 only what about this this is x only now look at this what is it 9 minus 4 5 or 9 minus 4 minus x 5 minus x am i right my dear yes now when i add everything what i'll get 6 plus 0 plus 7 minus x plus 4 plus 0 plus x plus 5 minus x when i add everything i'm going to get what 20 So x is equal to two, my dear. So how many of them teaches chemistry and physics both? Two of them teaches chemistry and physics both, and only physics five. Oh, that is chemistry. Three. So what is our answer? Two and three, not three and two. if a is related to b if and only if the difference in a and b is an even integer this relation is if a and b a is related to b if and only if the difference between a and b is an even integer any example you take and do it Can we take some example, my dear? Let us take some example. Can I take three comma one? Let me take AS one two three. AS one two three. Okay, AS one two three. Now look at this. What is R going to be? Listen here. This is little tricky question. All of you listen here. Find a cross a. One one, one two, one three, two one, two two, two three, three one, three two, three three. Now look at this. The difference is even integer. What is difference between one and one? Zero. Is it even integer? Zero is neither even nor odd. 1 comma 2 can we take 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 is minus 1 it is odd integer 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 no 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 
so now tell me my dear definite it is not reflexive what is it symmetry actually they are taking norm 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 also zero they are taking it as even integer now this is reflexive symmetry as well as transitive transitive is not coming my dear ha ah, one more example if i take it will come sorry only three numbers you took na see instead of this if i take four also you may get it if i take four also you may get it so better go with symmetric transitive but not reflexive that is the right answer this is little bit confusing only so here u of x is equal to 1 minus x by x find u inverse of x y is equal to 1 minus x by x xy plus x is equal to 1 take x outside y plus 1 equal to 1 x is equal to 1 by y plus 1 Is this right? So, what is f inverse of x? That option is not available, huh? There must be a printing mistake. Option A. See, so many inverse questions are coming. I think you can do this. Okay I want you to check whether it is reflexive ref symmetric can you try this 31 I want you to try my dear Try this 3,3 6,3 7,3 Yes, sir. So it is reflexive, of course. Six comma twelve is there. Do we have twelve comma six? So not reflect, not symmetric. Now, now, three comma three. Yes, fine. It is everything. It is coming transitive, my dear. So it is reflexive and transitive only. reflexive and transitive see sorry sorry it is reflexive only i'll tell you why we have 6 comma 12 right do we have anything which is starting from 12 here no for this 6 comma 12 12 comma 12 is there na yeah so it is transitive it is transitive reflexive and transitive correct <clears throat> this one we already did yamuna devi it will be available on description how many proper subset of a intersection b tell me what is a intersection b is 2 4 7 9 so 2 4 4 which is equal to 16 proper subset very good minus 1 15 is it reflexive my dear check whether it is reflexive symmetric or transitive 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 yes sir it is reflexive for sure i have 1 comma 2 do we have 2 comma 1 no so not symmetric 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 1 cut cancel 1 comma 2 is there it is it is transitive my dear so it is reflexive and uh, 
but not symmetric reflexive but not symmetric let us not bother about transit which is not given why to bother about it only check whether it is reflexive or symmetric the number of sub subset it is not subjects 2 power 4 what is it 16 this and all you will give me just like that given relation a is 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 on the set a 1 2 3 the minimum number of ordered pairs which when added to r make it equivalence relation listen here if you want to make it as equivalent relation it should be reflexive symmetry and transitive am i right my dear yes look at this if at all it is reflexive what should come my dear we should have 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 definitely it should be there next step. One comma two, two comma three. To make it symmetric, what and all should come, my dear? Two comma one, three comma two. Correct, na? Two comma one and three comma two. Then it is transitive. Say yes or no. So, total how many elements we need to add, my dear, to make it equivalence? Now is it equivalence? Sir, it is reflexive, sir. It is reflexive, sir. One comma two, two comma one, two comma three, three comma two. Symmetric also, sir. One comma two, two comma three. Huh? Yeah, one comma three also to be added. Yes. So now, how many elements you have added, my dear, to make it equivalence? What? Everything is correct only now. Yeah, perfect. What three comma? Ah, I have to add one comma three, as well as three comma one, because we need trans the symmetric also. Total, how many elements you have added? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Option B. Sir, which attempt is best? May or December? Both attempt are worst, my dear. Okay, my dear, I want you to see something. See, I'll keep on doing only. Then there is no point in you people are doing it. So these are don't get upset. I'll just explain it. If R be the relation, find the set of natural numbers as x relating to y, x minus y is divisible by five for every x and y belongs to n. Look at this. X minus y is divisible by five. So what are the numbers which are divisible by five? Five can come, ten can come, okay, fifteen. So the difference must be five, ten, fifteen. So the numbers must be what? Ten comma five. Is that right? Some example you take and you solve it, my dear. Some example you take and you solve it. A minus B into B intersection C. Find, my dear. You try and come. If you are not getting tomorrow on the first part, I will be doing. After that only, I will be continuing the calculus. Because now time is ten o'clock. Some important question, some conceptual based question. If I do now, it will be what you know unnecessary. You will get drained. So better we'll do it as a fresh start. Arpuda glory says Jesus loves you. Arpuda, is it true? Does he loves me? Now. What is a minus b? A d. What is b intersection c? D c. Now a comma d. Yo, a minus b la. Only a. So is it a comma d comma a comma c? B. So many questions I solved in terms of f inverse of x. Okay, that's it. Finally, it is over. 
ओके थैंक यू अर्पद ग्लोरी ओके गाइस सो दैट्स ऑल विथ टूडे सेशन सेट्स रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन आई होप ओके बट सर लव नाइन दर यू फाइन आई होप यू थर्टी एट समझ में नहीं आया ए फाइंड ए माइनस बी आई नो आई थिंक यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट ए माइनस बी फाइंड बी इंटरसेक्शन सी कॉमन एलिमेंट देन मल्टीप्लाई ओके गाइस so that's all with today's session thank you all of you bye everyone good night sweet dreams tomorrow we are doing the most important part calculus before you come for tomorrow's lecture i want you to learn some basic derivatives okay thank you everyone Good night